Yo, what up, everybody? Silver Sonic two three four here, and welcome back to Glitch Fest. I mean, loading times. I mean, Sonic 06. So, um, uh, I, I was just, we just finished Kingdom Valley, and some three trials that were okay, as opposed to Sonic's trials of Soliana. Seriously, it's stupid that we have to do these any that that we have to do those anyway. But it, it's over, whatever. We won't ever have to do them again. Uh, of course, we're going to have to do Kingdom Valley and Shadow Story. But guess what? We don't have to do the Trials and Shadow Story. Which is awesome. It's awesome. Wait. There's still a way to change this. Yes, yeah, Silver. Yes, there is. If we return to an earlier point in time, we'll be able to save her. Or you can, you know. This is probably the cutscenes where the fans was like, where the fans was like, "Oh yay, Elise is dead." It's probably cruel that you're glad that someone died. What are my opinions on Elise? I probably haven't given my opinions on Princess Elise. I don't have an opinion on Princess Elise. Why? Well. At least doesn't have a personality in this game. Come on now, she she has not shown any personality in this game. As a matter of fact, not as a matter of fact, a lot of characters in this game hasn't shown that much personality, that much of their personality, because Sonic, Sonic isn't the funny. So, Sonic is not the funny guy in this in this game. He's not. He always. He's always funny, he's always sarcastic, and he always has those crazy one-liners, but he... None of that in this game. There's none of that in this game. Even when he's having his one of his old-fashioned fights with Eggman, none of that in this game. But anyway, we're back in Silver Story, and I've heard people say this, um, the reason, uh, uh you know how Silver looks the same way? I've heard people say that that basically means Sonic failed. <laughs> so we'll see what his plan is after we complete Flame Core and, uh, def and defeat Iblis for the final time. Uh, so this is the final part of Silver Story. This is the final level of Silver Story. So let's do this thing. Let's finish this off. We are about to finish over half of this game. Don't worry, we're getting to the end of this playthrough, people. Don't worry. So Flame Core. Silver's Flame Core is a bit different than Sonic and Shadows, but... Not too much different, I don't think. I I, I I really have not. I really don't remember much about Silver Slime Pro because I have not fully played through this game in a long time, people. In a long time. I've been playing other games, people. I barely play this game on my own time because I just don't want to. I have no rings and the camera's horrible, so I won't be able to see where the enemy's shooting at me. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, you're gonna encounter that mess a lot in this game. The fact that the camera is horrible and you won't be able to see certain enemies shooting at you. Yeah, you're gonna encounter that a lot in this game. It's, it's stupid. It's stupid. The camera's so bad. Oh, the camera's so bad in this game. Oh. Oh Lord, I can't get up. There. Wow, I couldn't get up there. Yeah, what you have to do is you have to manipulate those platforms uh, with your psychic powers to get up there. Um, and if you can't, if you can't make it, then you're gonna have to find a whole nother route to go to. Which is stupid. Oh, come on, Silver. Silver, do your ground pound. Thank you. 
I was pressing the wrong button by mistake. Wait, what did that? Oh, wait. Oh, I was. Oh, uh, ignore me. <laughs> I was pressing the right trigger and I was jumping and pressing it. That's why Silver didn't do it. I was trying to do the. Gra I thought he was gonna do his ground pants, which I don't know. Just, 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 just forget that ever happened. Forget all that ever happened. Them big enemies die in such a weird way. They die in such a weird way. Oh my lord. Okay, that guy died, right? Oh, okay, one more left. Oh, he's stuck. Okay, we're good. Get out of my way! Yeah, like they're gonna do that. And he said it so calmly, too. Get out of my way! <laughs> Like, he's just like, he sounded bored saying that line. Get out of my way. <laughs> the voice acting is terrible in this game. The voice acting is not good. It's not horrible. It's not horrendous, but it's not, it's just not good. And yes, like some call me Johnny, that um, that line that you're gonna encounter in the opening cutscene and one of the the third cutscene of this game where you meet the tails. Ha <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah, like some call me Johnny, I also hate the delivery of that line. Oh my lord! You see that? You see that? You're gonna encounter that mess a lot because the camera is so bad in this game. It's only focusing on silver. It doesn't focus on any of the enemies. So you're gonna encounter a lot of um, shots coming out of nowhere, don't know where they came from moments in this game. So you can be like literally like walking somewhere and then an enemy shoots a projectile at you, but you won't know where it came from. So you'll just be sitting there like just confused like what? Hit this spring right here. Wait, what? Um, what? Okay, go over here then. I probably went, went the wrong way. I don't know. Boom, shaka laka enemy. All right then. So yeah, it's not that different from Sonic Story, just slightly different. Shadow's Flame Core is about the same either. It's just the only difference about Shadow. Oh, I hate Shadow's Flame Core. I really do. That game, that level has the worst enemy placement in this entire game. Because, oh, oh, because, oh, of course, Shadow always supposed to be the hard mode, so there's good, it's just going to be more enemies. That's basically all. It's just going to be more enemies. So Shadow's basically supposed to be the harder version. But here's the stupid thing. In Shadow's Flame Core, it has the worst enemy placement in this entire game. Seriously, there, there are places where you're going to, we're going to get into that later. We're gonna get into that later. We're gonna get into that later because, oh my lord, it's gonna be horrible. It's gonna be horrible. Oh, I can already tell. It is actually a waste of time. I mean, like, it's wasting my time. It's the waste of everybody else's time who's literally fighting this game. Like, killing room after room of enemies. And you know what? I understand why Clement J642 hates that because it's. It, 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 it's it's not really Sonic, you know, Sonic is supposed to be going fast, Sonic is supposed to be, you know, going fast throughout, you know, throughout entire levels. This is not really Sonic, I mean, Sonic games aren't supposed to be you killing room after room of enemies, you know? That's not Sonic, Sonic is speed based platforming, not beat em up, killing room after room of enemies, and these enemies keep spawning seriously this is the third form this is the third the third um time these enemies have been spawning like crazy 
It's the third horde of enemies. And oh wow, you just froze in there. Alright then. Let's just do that. Now, no more enemies spawn, please. After this guy. Thank you. It, it 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 does get very repetitive. You having to kill room after room of enemies, and I understand where Clement J six four two is coming from. That really is not Sonic. That really is not how Sonic games are supposed to operate and work. Now hurry up and now hurry up, 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 hurry up. Thank you. So those guys shoot something at me. Shoot a projectile at me. And they shoot. They can shoot it at you so fast. You won't see it till the last second. You ain't got no time to react. Oh man, this level is too long. <laughs> oh, you expect me to grab all those rings, please? Oh my lord, I had to wait for my meter to fill up. So I didn't make those platforms. Oh my lord. <laughs> I want to play Final Fantasy 13 again. Lightning returns, not not just not not the other one. Yeah. Yeah, you heard me mention that game because I just got it today. Oh snap. Oh oh come oh 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 thank you. Thank thank you game. Thank thank you so much. Oh, 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 okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Alright, at least I started from here and I can try to make those platforms all over again. Not going to be hasty with my psychic meter because uh, Silver has one and um, yeah, that that's really good design. And you know what else is really good level design? The fact that meteors are coming down and they can actually hit you so you, so uh, yeah, like that, like that, like that. That just ruined my chance of getting that platform. You see, this whole thing about the meteors coming down. It's not, it's not good design. I have no rings left. I'm in danger of dying now, again. This whole, me these meteors don't come in the background. They come, they hit you during, they hit you like inside the level. So, there could be a meteor that can come down like that. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see it hit me. It just hit me. I didn't even see it coming down. You won't have no time to react if a meteor comes down and hits you. That is bad design. That's bad level design. Something. Okay, we get it. The volcano is erupting. That should be a background thing, no. That should be a background thing. And sometimes, yeah, that did happen in Mario Galaxy, in, you know, games like Mario Galaxy. But when, but, but here's the stupid thing. When the volcano erupts, the meteors come down slowly so you can see. They just come down really fast. And you won't be able to see it. You won't be able to, you will have no time to react to those meteors coming. So if you're going to have them coming down that fast, have them have a background. Put that mess in the background. It's stupid. It's bad level design. Very bad level design. I could. You see how I could make it to that platform? I could have died because that meteor hit me while I was floating in the air. This game has bad level design. Yes, it does. And weird placements of certain objects and enemies too. And this is one of those dark places where you are supposed to like light up your use these things to use these lights to light your path but they don't do anything because the second because but they're not useful because the second you um the second you light up the se when you light them up they don't help you they don't help you at all because the second you step away from those lights after they lit up it goes straight back dark it does not light up even a small area of that section Okay, we got a horde of enemies again. All right, just just kill this guy and move on. That's uh, that's all you gotta do. And you can pretty much see just fine. But there are some people who, um, there are some people who, uh, you know, can't see well in the dark, even in even in a game. So uh, thank you for uh, thank you for considering people with bad eyesight, Sega. Uh, that was really nice of you. That was really nice of you, Sega. Oh my lord. 
Oh, it looks like we have another dark place. Our platform goes up and down, thank the Lord. Jesus. Uh. Oh, we don't need that platform to do anything. Oh, my Lord. All these dark places. I hope the Iblis, uh, the next, the final Iblis boss battle doesn't, doesn't go wrong or anything. Because I really don't want this video to, I really don't want this recording to stop on me again. And then I have to, like, record it, record the, uh, other part in a whole separate video. And then mash two videos together in a, uh, by using YouTube's editing, um, by YouTube using YouTube editing service thing by using the YouTube editor thing cuz I really don't want to have to do that again cuz I found out that my phone stops recording at a certain time like it it um I think after like 33 minutes it stops damn this but oh lord oh I just started here I end up going to a circle This is annoying. Oh, that platform is supposed to take me up and then that platform. Oh, okay. I have not played this level in so long. Wait, but I was just here, though. That's the stupid thing. That's just another way for me to get up there. Okay, so, okay. That activates that. It goes over here and goes over here. Oh, Lord. Just made it. Gets up here and it goes over here and it goes over here and then kill these. Oh snap! Whoa! I almost fell through there. Okay, I was just able to grab him there. All right then. Door open and get me out of this place. Come on. We should be about done with this level. Yes, yes, yes. We are. We are. We are. I think the gold ring is over there because it pops up like when you get close to it. Oh, mama mia. All these enemies. It's not necessary. Really, really, come on now. All these enemies really isn't necessary. Oh, thank you, a small dust cloud. And then Iblis Worm pops up and hurts me. Yep. I hate the way those Iblis Worms spawn. It's so annoying. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this part. Um, What we have to do here is that um, this ball of fire right here we have to destroy that now how do we do it well first of all here's how you get to it stand on these walls and when the thing starts to lighten up it'll release a shockwave attack that will hurt you so you're gonna have to stand so it's one of those basically like one of those old especially like in a Mario game almost one of these old platform elements you have to wait for something to shoot at you stand by while you're standing behind a wall hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up silver hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry oh lord hurry up oh my lord hurry up okay wait for him to shoot his shock wave all right go and then we go all right. He's gonna shoot a shockwave again, and then oh lord! I had a slightly larger blast radius. I had a slightly larger hitbox than I had anticipated it. Whatever. Do this, and then destroy him. It's going. It's going to. All right. You expected it to just decay into nothingness, and then the camera just does that. Okay, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, oh my lord. If I'd have fell in the lava because of that mess, and then died, I'd have been so mad. Okay, will the steam clear up, please, so I can see where I'm going? Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering if that steam was ever going to clear up. Alright, so... We've cleared Flame Core. Great. 
see how long I've been recording. 20 minutes. Alright, so hopefully it doesn't take me 13 more minutes to uh, finish the simplest boss fight. Got a B rank? I don't care. <laughs> oh, Mamma Mia. If I was playing like Sonic Unleashed or something, then I would care what rank I would get. We're going to continue without saving just in case my recording decides to do some stupid stuff. Just in case my phone might stop and then this boss fight takes too long. So, um. Come on, Iblis! This time I'll finally stop you! Alright, so it's time to fight the final form of Iblis who looks so much better. I mean, he looks pretty threatening the first time, but the, then the second time there was a tapeworm, which looked absolutely stupid. Now this form looks like something that can mess somebody up right here. I'm not gonna lie, the design of Iblis looks pretty, I'm not gonna lie, the, the, the design of Iblis' final form looks pretty awesome. It looks pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie, it looks awesome. Now you attack him the same way, the same way you did as the first boss fight, the first boss fight in Silver Story. If you remember the first time you fought Iblis, just basically just attack in the same way. He just has the slightly different attacks, um, but for the most part, he's really the exact same boss fight. Just throw stuff at his head, and uh, yeah, as you saw there, some of those meteorites can um. Uh, the meteors they bounce off of each other um, so what I recommend you do is that I recommend you uh, not hold so many at one time like or at least throw them one at a time like that <laughs> don't throw them so quickly because sometimes they can bounce off of each other make sure they're separated well, of course but sometimes you can't do that with silver now he's gonna do this new attack um, Jump whenever the uh, if the shock wave goes to the bottom, jump. If it goes if if the shock wave goes to the bottom, jump. If it goes to the top, then you just do then you just nothing. See right here, the shock wave is gonna be lower, and then this one's gonna be higher, and then this one's gonna be lower, and this is gonna be higher. So boom. That's how you do that. That. Okay. So when Iblis gets closer, he's going to destroy the foothold. Well, part of it anyway. So you really have to defeat him before he gets closer. And if he destroys the entire foothold, well then it's done for you. So then after, so then after, uh, when he does his scary face at you, then you hit him. Then you uh, jump on top of him, do that psychic thing. And then causes more damage to him. And that actually hit him. Wow. Great aiming. I got great aiming. Oh, yes. So here's what he. Sorry. So this attack right here. Stand back here. Hold uh, down the right trigger so that Silver can catch that psychic ball. Catch, catch, catch. And then shoot it straight back at him. So, yeah. Alright, so uh, low shock wave, low shock wave, high shock wave, low, high, high, and low, and high, low. That was low. <laughs> Alright, so now he's gonna come over here, and now he's gonna destroy the part of the foothold again. And, um, oh snap! <laughs> wow. So now we only have a sample of the foothold left. Now, if he were to come um, over to the ground a third time, if he'd come over there a third time, then the whole foothold would be destroyed. And then, boom. Yeah. So, anyway, let's end with this. Uh, oh, snap. <laughs> I don't know where that went. Let's end it. Oh, snap. He just has like a. Oh, snap. He just has like. Oh, oh, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yes! We done it! We did it! Iblis is defeated! Iblis is defeated! Oh, we did it! That didn't take long at all! 
That didn't take that long. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That didn't take long at all. Alright, let's see what rank we get. Oh, snap. <laughs> a rank. Almost a, almost an S rank. But anyway, that's it for Silver Story. Enjoy this ending cutscene. to the royal family fall into slumber with my soul iblis you cursed flames of disaster ah! 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 no why won't it accept me as the vessel flames i'll take iblis don't worry my soul is already a lit with flames. I will be accepted. Come on, make it quick. Use your chaos control to stop time. Then steal it to a different dimension. No, I can't do that to you. Didn't we already go through this? so that is it for Silver Story and in the credits right here in this background in this credit um, in the <laughs> this song playing right here in the credits is um, Dreams of an Absolution which is Silver's theme song in this game now this song it, in my opinion on this song it's it's okay it's not bad. I like it. It's okay. But man, that remix. Oh my lord, the remix of this song is amazing. I love the remix of the song. I love the remix of the song. Like this like I said, the music of this game is awesome. This game soundtrack is awesome it, 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 with a few exceptions. Um, Princess Elisa's theme and that song Sweet Sweet 06. I hate those songs. Oh lord, I hate those songs. Ugh. But other than that, this song, the game soundtrack is pretty awesome. Um, of course, the Sonic the Hedgehog. How could they fail at the soundtrack? <laughs> yeah, Sonic Boom kind of did, but um, that we don't. Um, that's not a part of the main Sonic franchise. So anyway, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So this song is all right. This song is good, and Silver Story was overall better than Sonic Story and Shadow Story is about on the same level as Silver Story but um anyway on the next part we're gonna be uh on the next part we're gonna be starting up Shadow Story so see you guys next time when we start Shadow Story